Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us call to mind our sins and entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Prepare our hearts, we pray, O Lord our God, by your divine power, so that at the coming of Christ your Son, we may be found worthy of the banquet of eternal life and merit to receive heavenly nourishment from his hands who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will provide for all peoples a feast of rich food and choice wines, Juicy, rich food and pure, choice wines. On this mountain, he will destroy the veil that veils all peoples. The web that is woven over all nations, he will destroy death forever. 
the Lord God will wipe away the tears from all faces. The reproach of his people he will remove from the whole earth. For the Lord has spoken. On that day it will be said, Behold our God, to whom we look to save us. This is the Lord for whom we look. Let us rejoice and be glad that he has saved us. For the hand of the Lord will rest on this mountain. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures, he gives me repose. Beside restful waters, he leads me, he refreshes my soul. I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. He guides me in right paths. For his name's sake, even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side, with your rod and your staff that give me courage. I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of, of my life. Please all stand. The Lord comes to save his people. Blessed are those prepared to meet him. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus walked by the Sea of Galilee, went up on the mountain, and sat down there. Great crowds came to him, having with them the lame, the blind, the deformed, the mute, and many others. They placed them at his feet, and he cured them. The crowds were amazed when they saw the mute speaking, the deformed made whole, the lame walking, and the blind able to see, and they glorified the God of Israel. Jesus summoned his disciples and said, My heart is moved with pity for the crowd, for they have been with me now for three days and have nothing to eat. I do not want to send them away hungry, for fear they may collapse on the way. The disciples said to him, Where could we ever get enough bread in this deserted place? to satisfy such a crowd.
Jesus said to them, How many loaves do you have? Seven, they replied, and a few fish. He ordered the crowd to sit down on the ground. Then he took the seven loaves and the fish, gave thanks, broke the loaves, and gave them to the disciples, who in turn gave them to the crowds. They all ate and were satisfied. They picked up the fragments left over, seven baskets full. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, our readings today, the fourth day of Advent, speak of abundant food. In our first reading today, the prophet Isaiah talks of a vision of abundant food when the Lord comes. He speaks of a banquet with rich food and choice wines, juicy, rich food, and pure choice wines. Sa pagdating ng Panginoon, magkakaroon ng malaking handaan, masasarap na pagkain, at masasarap na inumin. And in our Gospel, Jesus feeds thousands of people from seven loaves and a few fish. And everyone was able to eat. There were even leftovers. There was overflowing food. My dear brothers and sisters, the celebration of Christmas is always associated with food. Kapag magpapasko, maraming kainan, maraming pagkain. We attend so many parties. Even during the time of pandemic, there are still parties. We have many food to eat. And because of this, we gain a lot of weight at tumataas ang ating kolesterol dahil kain tayo ng kain. But let us remember, my dear brothers and sisters, that our readings also tell us that the food is intended for everyone. The food in the vision of the prophet Isaiah is meant for everyone to enjoy, not just for some people, not just for the cho choice chosen few, but the food prepared by the Lord, the abundant food, is meant for all. And even the food that Jesus prepared was meant for all. They were meant for everyone following Him, but also for those who do not believe in Him, for those who were doubting Him. They were all fed by Jesus. My dear brothers and sisters, in this Advent season, in our preparation for the coming of the Lord, let us remember that the food, the gifts, the blessings that we receive are meant for all. The food, the gifts, and the blessings are not only for us. They are meant to be shared to all especially those people who do not have anything to eat. 
and those people who do not have any gifts to enjoy. Let us remember, my dear brothers and sisters, that Christmas is not only for those who can afford. Christmas is not an exclusive season for those who have money. Christmas is for all. The joy of Christmas is for all. Because Jesus is for all. In this Advent season, let us be instruments of God's abundance to everyone. Let us be instruments of God's overflowing gifts and blessings to everyone. Let us share God's abundant blessings, God's abundant goodness, and God's abundant love. Please stand. In the miracle of the feeding of 5,000 people, our Lord shows us that the Father will give us everything we need. Let us ask Him for all the good gifts He can provide us. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That our pastors may continue to nourish us with the spiritual food that comes from our Lord's table. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That government leaders may find ways to respond to the needs of our poor brothers and sisters. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who experience spiritual hunger may find Christ in their lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we who are gathered here may love Jesus Christ as He gives Himself to the multitude in the Eucharist. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That all who have died may come to share in the feast of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We remember the people we promised to pray for and the intentions offered in this Mass. Almighty Father, you have given us the bread from heaven as food for our pilgrim journey. Guide our steps in the way of justice and peace. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours 
may become acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May the sacrifice of our worship, Lord, we pray, be offered to you unceasingly to complete what was begun in sacred mystery and powerfully accomplish for us your saving work through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed that his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, 
with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. With longing for the coming of God's kingdom, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done, done on earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. We implore your mercy, Lord, that this divine sustenance may cleanse us of our faults and prepare us for the coming feasts through Christ our Lord. Amen. We invite you to our healing rosary tonight at 9 o'clock. Our host will be the Diocesan Shrine and Parish of St. Joseph in Baras Rizal. This is also in preparation for the closing of the year of St. Joseph on December 8. We also invite you to our Fiesta Masses on December 8, next Wednesday. The schedule of our Masses on December 8, the Solemnity of the Immaculate Conception, will be at 8 o'clock and 11 o'clock in the morning, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and 6 o'clock in the evening. You may visit the Facebook page of the Manila Cathedral for the details of our schedules and other uh, celebrations this coming uh, days. We continue to thank you for your support for the mission of the Manila Cathedral. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.